What's up guys, thank you so much for joining me, the Indie Gamer here, back with another video. In today's video I thought I'd do a quick overview and review of EA Access, which I recently decided to renew for another year. So, EA Access is a subscription based service on Xbox One which allows you to download as many titles as you like from a library of EA games. EA is of course well known for its AAA sports titles, but within the subscription you'll also have access to games by a broad range of studios which fall under the EA umbrella, such as EA Sports, DICE and Bioware. So the range of games on offer is actually very diverse and should appeal to a broad variety of gamers. The subscription consists of three main benefits, which include the 50 plus full games that are available to download from the vault, the 10 hour demos of brand new games, and also the 10% discount across the board off of all EA digital purchases. And on top of that, as an EA Access member, you will also receive early access to the majority of brand new game releases too, offering you the chance to try lengthy 10 hour demos of games, usually around five days ahead of launch. EA Access is available to Xbox One users at a price of £20 a year or £3.99 a month in the UK. Or if you're in the US, $30 for the year or £4.99 a month. Which I think represents superb value for money for what you get included. To give you a good idea of the games included as of July 2018, I'm just going to flick through the Vault games for you now. These titles are all available to download in full, inclusive of your subscription and at no additional cost, and you can download as many of these titles as you like. In total, The Vault has over 50 games available to you, with top titles like Battlefield 1, Titanfall 2, Need for Speed Payback, Madden 17 and FIFA 17, there is a great mix of games for everyone in there. And with absolute gems like the Dead Space games, Mass Effect series, Skate 3 and indie titles like Unravel in there too, it really does give you a superb amount of variety, whatever you might be into. From what I've noticed, games seem to get added to the vault somewhere around the one year after release mark, but sometimes even sooner. Like for example Need for Speed Payback, which was released on the 10th of November in 2017, only took until the 9th of June this year in 2018 to be added to the vault. Games are consistently being added to the service and EA have stated that they have no plans to remove any games from the vault at any stage, unless it was for an uncontrollable scenario like a particular game's server being shut down. Another big perk of the service has to be the huge 10 hour trials of games often exclusively ahead of the launch of the full game release. For example when Battlefield 1 launched EA Access members got a chance to get on and play a whole week ahead of the full release date. And something similar is expected for Battlefield 5's release come October. And it's also worth knowing that all progress does carry across should you decide to pick up the full game after a trial too. And the final thing to mention that is included in the service is the 10% discount off of all EA games and DLC purchased within the Xbox Marketplace. Recently confirmed to be coming to the vault in the coming months is Burnout Paradise Remastered, Dante's Inferno and The Sims 4. And we can also expect 10 hour demos and early access later this year from titles such as Battlefield 5, FIFA 19 and Madden 19, and with titles such as Anthem potentially next year too, the future of EA Access is looking bright. In my opinion, EA Access offers fantastic value for money and I have no hesitation in highly recommending it to you guys. Especially if you go for the yearly option at just £20 in the UK, which saves you over 50% over paying monthly. It really is an absolute steal, and in all honesty, I don't think you can really go wrong. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really do hope you found it helpful if you're considering giving EA Access a go. If you do have any comments or questions about anything at all, I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments section below. If you did enjoy this, it would be massively appreciated if you would hit that like button. And better still, please do feel free to subscribe if you would like to see more future videos. Thanks again for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one.